Hi, I'm Whitney, and welcome to Whitney's Workouts. Today we are going to do the core 12 workout, which is 12 different core exercises that will be one minute long with 15 seconds in between. So what I would like to do is start with a nice moving warm up just to kind of get all those abdominal muscles fired up and ready to go so we're not cold or stiff when we start, but it's not gonna be a long one, just something really, really simple and easy. So the first thing I want you to do is come up onto your knees, knees shoulder width apart, and we're just going to do some rotating core workout or exercises. So we're getting that back fired up, those abs, sides, tops, bottoms, everything in between. Good. Next thing I want to do is we're just going to do some bending side stretches, really making sure we got those obliques ready to go. Good. All right. So one thing I want you to know today is that we are doing a lot of planks. So if for any reason being in a plank is hurting your wrist, you can get some hand weights and hold on to your hand weights or you can always put your knuckles on the ground. Some people don't like to do that because it hurts, but that's what the hand weights are for. Um, if not, then we're just going to go straight into our plank situation. Also, when doing planks, if you feel anything in that lower back, that means you're dipping your hips too close to the ground. And if you feel anything too much in your shoulders and nothing in your abs, don't get me wrong, planks, you will feel a lot in your shoulders, but if it's all in your shoulders and you're not feeling anything in your core, then that means your butt's too high up in the air and everything's going to your shoulders. So that's one thing that I really want you to think about during this whole exercise or this whole workout is that you're really focusing on squeezing that core and really making it burn. Um, make sure you have your interval timer set, one minute with 15 seconds in between, and let's get this party started. start with a simple exercise called mountain climbers. So I'm going to have my hands directly underneath my shoulders and I'm going to be in a nice plank position. How this goes, as soon as I start, I'm going to be driving my knees forward in between my hands. So almost like you're running up a mountain. If this is too much for you, your modification is slow down, really squeeze that core and focus on making that burn. Because sometimes when we do the modification and we slow down, we're not going to feel it because we're not concentrating on squeezing those muscles. And if for any reason your muscles start to die out, think about those helper muscles and squeeze them real tight. All right, so my hands are under my shoulders. I'm in my plank position. Getting ready, set, go. And really focus on your breathing here. All the way in and all the way out. Abs. Good job. Keep going. Again, if you need to modify and slow down, slow down, focus on that crunch. If you're ready to go, go for it. If you need to slow down for a minute and then jump back in, feel free to do so. This is your workout, so make it work for you. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. The next exercise that we're going to be doing is the same body position, same plank, but I call these cross knee mountain climbers. So my hands are under. I'm taking my right leg and I'm going towards my left elbow. Ready? Go. This, your modification, you can always drop to your knee. Make sure you're in your plank position. Come down and crunch forward. If being a plank is too hard, or if you want a little extra, add that kickback. But really focus on that turn in. And concentrate on that breathing. Your arm should be on fire as well. Ten seconds. Four, 
Three, two, one. Good job. Shake out those arms. Take a little rest. Now the next one, same thing, but we're going to do the left knee to the right elbow. All right, ready, go. Focus on your breathing. Squeeze those muscles. Again, if your wrists start to bother you, you can come up on to your knuckles. Good job, keep going, halfway. If you need to take a break, take a break. Jump back into you, into it. <laughs> It's your workout, make it work for you. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, the next one that we're going to do, same body position. And it's kind of like the part of the burpee where you go out, and in before you go up. So my hands are under my shoulders, and all I'm doing is going in and out. Go, in and out. If you need to go slow, take a breath here, and come back to that plank. If you wanna go fast, go fast. It's up to you. Make it work for you. Notice that I'm keeping my knees in between my shoulders as I'm jumping in and out. I don't want you out here spreading those knees. Okay, that's going to hurt. We don't want to do that. In and out. And you notice that my butt is back when I jump in. Slow and steady wins the race. Really squeeze those lower abs when you're coming forward. Good job. You notice that I'm going slow. I'm not going too fast. If you need to go faster, go faster. But don't think you have to. You don't want to. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, the next exercise. Same body position in the plank. We're going to do plank jacks. Meaning my legs are going out and in like a jumping jack, while my hands are in the plank position. Ready, go. Good job, keep going. If you need to take a break, take a break. Get your breathing back and jump back into it. It's okay. Work up towards being able to do it the whole time. Twenty seconds. Repositioning my hands. It's okay, I can feel my butt's up a little high in the air. I can feel that in my shoulders. So now I'm gonna move it back down. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, the next one, we're in that same position. Your butt's gonna move a little bit up because we're doing donkey kicks from side to side. So kick your butt in between. We're going from side to side. Good. Using my abs to help me. Focus on your breathing. Good job. Abs are tight. Legs are burning. Those plank jacks do a body good. Woo. Good job. Slow and steady. Halfway, we got this. Ten seconds. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Good job. All right, the next one is our side plank. So remember my elbow is directly underneath my armpit. I'm going to a side plank, but I'm adding a crunch. If you need a modification, I'm on my knee and I'm crunching. This is for anyone that your legs or your arms are too tired. If not, I'm in my full plank, reach and crunch. Shoot for height in that hip. Good. Whew. Again, that modification if you need it. On my knee, crunching, squeezing those abs because I'm coming together, still fighting for height with that hip. If not, I should still be in my side plank. 10 seconds. You got this. Five, four, you can see me, I'm dipping three, two. Good job. All right. Where there's one side, there's always another. Elbow underneath my armpit. Full plank. Ready. Oh, I started too soon. Go. Focus on your breathing. Fight for height with that hip. If for any reason you're feeling anything in your knee, drop that knee down. Shoot for height as well in the modification, but keep crunching, keep squeezing. But if you're going full plank, go for it. Really squeeze those abdominals. Woo. Focus on that breathing. Ooh, getting my balance back. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. The next thing we're going to do is a V sit, but we're going to be on the left side. So I want you to focus on being on your left butt cheek. And we're going to come down and all the way up like you're touching your toes. Down and up. Whew. Again, I'm on my left butt cheek. My right butt cheek's in the air. Whew. Focus on that breathing. Oh. Try to touch those toes. As you can see, I can't do it either. But I'm going for it. Whew. Whew. A lot of balance, a lot of focus. Oh. 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 Take a break if you need a break, then jump back into it. Because we got the other side. You might move around a lot on the mat. Just get back to the middle and keep going. Oh. Oh. 10 seconds. You're almost there. Two, one, woo! All right, take your break. Next side. So this time we're on that right butt cheek. Woo. Four, three, two, go. Good. Focus on your breathing. Squeeze those abs. Make sure you stay on that side. And you don't roll over to both butt cheeks. Notice that I breathe out. When I go up, and then when I go down. Seconds. Ooh. Your legs should feel a thousand pounds. Three, 
two, one. Good job, that one was a hard one. Okay, next one. We're going to do a B, B sit bicycle. So I'm sitting back on my tailbone and then going bicycle over and over. Ready, go. If you need a modification, heel down, back straight. If you don't need one, I'm going for it. Focus on your breathing. Abs tight, make sure we're keeping that back straight. I noticed in myself, I started to see. So I'm gonna reset, get it back, and go back into it. Really keeping that back straight. Your abs are gonna be on fire. Your legs are gonna be on fire. Again, if you need a modification, put that heel down. But if you don't, go. Again, if you need a break, I need two seconds. One, two, back in. Good job. Go for it. Eight seconds left. You got it, we're almost there. We got one more after this. Three, two, one. All right. We're standing up. We got high knees. You running, your knees are going as high as possible. If you can't jump, my modification is slow. If you can, we're going for it. Go. Focus on your breathing. Soft toes. I'm not slamming my whole foot down. I just got my toes down. And I'm driving, driving up. Driving, driving, driving. Focus on your breathing. Good. Again, if you need your modification, I'm going slow, but driving up towards the sky. Still driving, going as fast as I can without putting my feet on, or without bouncing on my feet. If not, you're going for it. We got 15 seconds left. Give me everything you got left. Congratulations, you just finished core 12. I hope everybody took a while to walk around, get that breathing back down, grab some water, and then come back to do the cool down. The cool down is just gonna be some nice, easy stretches. We're going to start with the abdominal stretch. So what I want you to do is lay down on your mat, make sure that my hands are underneath my armpits, and I'm gonna come up and reach towards the sky. Chin up, head back. Good, come back down, up, really stretch out that back and those abs. One more time, down, up. Good job. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come back into our child's pose. So make sure you open those hips a little bit. We're really gonna try to stretch those shoulders out. We did do a lot of planks today, so we need to make sure that we take care of all the other body parts that were worked as well. And shoulders are a big part of it. Good. Okay, the next one we're gonna go into is cat-cow. So make sure that my knees are underneath my hips, my hands are underneath my shoulders, and I'm gonna inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, one more. Inhale up, exhale down. Good, now what I would like to do is a hurdler stretch. So I have one leg in and I'm gonna reach for my other leg. We did do a lot of legs today as well. They weren't the main focus because we were focusing on core, but I know those plank jacks kicked my thighs booty. So really make sure we're taking care of all of the muscles that we use today. Still trying to get my breathing back. Switch. And it's okay if you can't reach your foot. As you can see, it's kind of hard for me to reach mine. So just keep working on that. Go as far as you can until you can feel the stretch in those hamstrings and those quads. Good, okay, last stretch today. 
One more shoulder stretch, so you take your arm, pull it close to you. Ooh. Good job. All right, shake it all out. Thank you for joining me for Core 12, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week.